Hi everybody, so at the end of this video tutorial, you'll be able to make this application, okay? So whenever the switch is changed, the label also changed accordingly. Of course, you will need to write a bit of code to make this work, but it's okay, it's just a few lines of code, and I also broken it into bite-sized steps for easy digestion. So without further ado, Let's get right into it. So right now, I am going to head in into Xcode and I am, I am going to create a new Xcode project. I'm going to make this a single view application and I'll call this iOS Features Practice. Make sure your language is Swift and devices is iPhone. And I'm going to create it in my desktop. Now, head into your main storyboard where you'll set up the layout of your app. Click on this to change your device to iPhone SE. Next, click on this and change to iPhone SE as well. Okay, now you're ready to go. On the filter, type in UI switch and you have a switch. Drag this into your view controller. This will be very familiar to you if you are using an iPhone. Now, you're going to drag another thing called label. Drag over here, just below the switch. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as mine. Just, just make sure you got the concept. And if you look at the switch and you go to the attributes inspector and look at the value property, you will set it to off. Boom, it's off. You can set it to on as well. We're going to control this in our code. Okay, so now that we have set up the layout of our simple application, open up the assistant editor, which is these two circles overlapping each other. If you do not have enough space, click on this to close the utilities pane. See, now you have a little bit more space. Click on the switch and left, I mean right click and drag the switch to your code. Alternatively, you can also click on the switch itself in the view and right click and drag to your view controller. I am going to call it switch button. Make sure this is an outlet and storage is strong and type is UI switch. Now connect. The label. Same thing, right click and drag, and I'm going to call this label text. And make sure it's a type UI label and connection is outlet. Last but not least, we want to connect the switch button one more time. Drag this, but this time below the did receive memory warning function, but above this uh, last brace thing. And this time, you want to make this an action. This is very important. Make sure to make this an action and call this value changed. Connect. Okay, now you are ready to type some code. Head into your viewcontroller.swift by clicking on it and close this assistant editor window. All right, let's start by typing some code. But before we type some code, let me just clean up a little bit. Let me just expand the label. Okay. And centralize the text by heading into the alignment property and centralizing the text. All right. So now that we are good to go, let's start typing some code right now. So this value change function will be executed every time the value of the switch is changed okay if you if you build and run it now okay you can see the switch actually works but it's just that nothing is happening when the switch value is changed so now what we're gonna do is 
we are going to make something happen whenever the switch value is changed. So I'm going to quit the simulator. And so what I'm going to do in this function is I'm going to print switch button dot is on. So this switch button is a reference to this, which is a reference to the switch in our main dot storyboard. And this prints, and this is an is on boolean value. So if the switch button is on, it's going to print on. But if it's switched off, that means when you actually take this circle and swipe it to the left, it's going to print off. I'm going to show you now. So when I off this, look at it, it prints false because it's no longer switched on. Now if I turn it back on, it becomes true because I have already uh, switched it back on. So you can play around with this. Still pretty boring, nothing happening too much. So now what we're going to do, learning using what we have learned, we're going to do this. So we're going to say, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type if switch button, remember switch button is a reference to the main dot storyboard, the switch in the main dot storyboard, dot is on. Remember when we print the switch button dot is on, and when the switch button is on, then it returns true. So I'm going to set this to equal to true, the brace, then click enter, and Xcode will help me auto complete this brace over here. So if the switch button is on, equals to true, that means the switch button is on, then let's print the switch button is on. Okay, now let's discuss what does this code does. So if the switch button is on, it's equal to true, so if the switch button is actually set uh, to have the green thing beside it. So if if it's this, if it's currently this value, if it's currently on, then it the debugger will print the switch button is on, like how we have printed the true and false. Then we're gonna add one more thing, else print the switch button is off. Okay, so now what's happening? So else that means if this is not is not true, so if this switch button is set to the off value, okay, it will print this switch button is off in this debugger console over here. Now let's try. Now, if I set it to on, notice that the switch button is on is actually printed to the console. Now, similarly, if I if I switch it off, the switch button is off, and now we can actually manipulate it. Okay, brilliant. Now let's do something with the label text. Remember the label text we have over here. I'm going to erase this print statement because we no longer need it. Oops. Okay. So what I'm going to do is to make a reference to the label text. Then dot. So as you can see, there's a whole lot of properties of for the label text. But the main thing that I want is the dot text property. Because label.txt has a lot of properties, you can change the font, you can change the font, you can change the, I don't know, but you can change a lot of things about the label text. But the specific thing about the label text that I want is the text. Okay, and I'll set it equal to, remember to put your two quotation marks, the switch button. 
is on. Now, similarly, if the switch button is switched off, then we want to change the label dot text. Same thing, reference to the label text, then we want a specific text about that label. I want to set it equal to the switch button is off. Similar to what we have print in the debugger console. Okay, now if I switch it on, the switch button is on. I switch it off, the switch button is off. So you can keep playing around with it. Now, I just want to, want to show you one more thing that's like one, one bug in our application. So, so if you notice, there's actually one bug in our application. As you can see, the default label is uh, just a label. So we want to change that. And we can change that by heading to the main storyboard. Just change from here. I can just change my the switch button is off. Boom. Because in the main storyboard, this is the default. Whatever you put in the main note storyboard will be the default value for that uh, specific thing. However, you can also change the default in code. But I'm not going to cover that in this video tutorial. Okay. Okay, so now to summarize of what we have learned. Before I summarize what we have learned, I'm going to run it one more time and show you our application. Switch button is off by default. The switch is also off by default because remember, in our main door storyboard, we set it to be off by default and we set the text to the switch button is off by default. But now if I on, off, on, off, on, off. Okay, so this is what our application does. Now to summarize that what we have done. So first, we we dragged uh, one switch button, one switch as well as one label, and then connected these two via. Let me just then we connected this switch and turned the text into code so that we can manipulate it. So now we have uh, two IB outlets as well as one IB action. So remember one IB action is a, uh, what is a function that is actually executed whenever the value, the, whenever the switch button is changed. And then we went on to check whether the new value of the switch button is on. And if it's on, then we set it to be, we change the label text to the switch button is on. However, if the new value of the switch button is not on, then we just check, set it to the switch button is off. Simple as that. Okay, so I hope you have learned a lot today. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video tutorial. And this is Ben. Peace out.